Morning Espresso viewers, Captain Kai here from the Bolido Pro and Kwadakuza is the place to be in the winter time. Balmy weather, warm water and cooking waves and we have seen so much action this past week at the Bolido Pro. In the early rounds, the Brazilians taking control, guys like Ital Ferreiro and Michael Rodriguez were going absolutely bonkers in the small waves on offer. Eight point rides, nine point rides, and even a 10 pointer saw the crowd on the beach going absolutely crazy. All eyes in round one were on South Africa's top surfer, Jordy Smith. South Africa's top surfer has been out with injury for quite some time now, and this was his first event back in action. Unfortunately for Jordy, Michael Fabry, Barrett DePress, and Dale Staples, the wave guards were not kind, and all four of those South Africans out in round one. Good news for South Africa though, young Davey Van Zell from Durban moving through his round one hit into round two. In round two he was back against the wall needing one score to get through his heat and unfortunately he was beaten by the buzzer. A beautiful wave coming five seconds too late for Davey Van Zell. He would have got the score but unfortunately it was not to be. So it's not all about surfing here at the Bolido Pro. We have the Larish brothers, South Africa's preeminent trial bikers, and Kule Angabane, a local skateboarder from Durban, cruising the streets of Belito and hitting up one of the Belito skate parks. Which actually has been here for a number of years and no one really gives it attention, so we just want to bring it back to life and put some good energy here. So the bikes aren't meant for this type of stuff, but they're light and nimble, so when you get in here, you can really have fun. Loads of torque on these bikes, so you can just zoom around, do burnouts. Uh, just nice and flowing actually, which we're not really used to. Karakuza coastline is full of amazing waves, not just the waves here down at the Bolido Pro. And local surfer Beric de Fris may have been knocked down in round one, but he's still stuck around to go explore. Um, going on the mission with your buddies is kind of what makes all the losses and all the hard times, the tough times, the traveling and everything, it kind of makes everything all worthwhile, well, you know. You're hanging with people you want to hang with and you do anything you love, so that's what kind of fills your stoke tank, I think. <laughs> The competitive side of it is definitely uh, a part that I love, you know. I feel like being kind and mellow on land is what I try to do, you know, try my hardest and then um, save the competitive stuff for, you know, the next contest that I'm going to be in. You know, before the heat, put your headphones on and just like, okay, all those things that have frustrated you, you know, you just go and take it out in the, in the ocean. The whole week surfers were trying to take down the best wave of the events, 25,000 Rand on the line thanks to Monster and Zigzag. And in the end it all happened on day one with Michael Rodriguez from Brazil getting a 10 point ride and earning the 25,000 Rand payday. The Monster Expression Session went down just before the finals here at Belito and some of South Africa's top young surfers going for a 20,000 Rand payday for the best manoeuvre. Davey Van Zale from Durban was going mental in the fun looking waves. Another surfer going absolutely hell for leather was Shane Sykes. But in the end it was young surfer Matty McGillivray from Jeffreys Bay who came with a massive air reverse over a big section. And he pocketed a 20,000 Rand check making him one stoked kid. It was a magical day here on the final day at the Bolido Pro. Glassy conditions, firing waves, and some of the world's best surfers going nuts for the crowds on the beach. Starting with the quarterfinals in the morning, guys like Mitch Colburn and Alejo Munez were on fire, taking down heat winds to move into the semi finals. In semi final number two, it was an all Australian affair with Davy Cathals taking on Mitch Colburn. Mitch Colburn was surfing really good throughout the event and really did do his utmost to win that semi-final. But in the end, it was the young Davy Cathals taking the win and moving into the finals. The finals started in front of an absolutely packed beach here in Melito. And it was Aleo Munoz who laid down the hammer early with a 9.33 ride. Young Davy Cathals tried his utmost to catch up to Aleo throughout the final, but he just could not quite manage to get those perfect waves often falling on his last maneuver and in the end the very experienced Brazilian Aleo Muniz taking the win almost half a million rand in prize money and 10,000 points 
he ends this event as number one on the world qualifying circuit and now heads off to Jeffrey's Bay to surf against the world's best. I'm Captain Kai and you've been watching all the highlights from the Belito Pro 2015. I look forward to seeing you again next year.